all right let's check out some more ravenbound today is not sponsored uh but i still have my tracking link in hashtag game if you haven't wishlisted this game and want to help uh drive some more traffic to our sponsored link from yesterday we would appreciate it we would all right let's see if we can down this first boss um i can play this all day uh there's no time limit um i'm not allowed to go into the second dungeon because they want to leave some things unshown so if we do manage to beat the first boss we can explore the world the open world and we can do numerous runs and try to unlock things but we've got to stop at the second dungeon yeah You normally hate games like Vampire Survivors or Armory Ruin, but I love both of them. The auto shoot concept is so much fun. Yeah. Well, that's that's the best part. It's like this happens all the time to me because I think it's not something that I would get into. And then I wind up In ages long forgotten, getting totally into it. The island of Avon Should we watch this again? Let's watch this again. Garden, tended to by its protectors, the six gods of all that was. Their people knew no struggle, and their craft shone with potential. But the mind of the sixth god became twisted, and her heart turned on her brothers and sisters. All souls should be hers, she thought, and buried seeds of her malice and might over death into the very fabric of our vault, watching as it ate into the minds so the of hatred. all living things. The blessings of the remaining gods shielded those who were awash with their light, but all others fell to the hatred and would do so forevermore. In a desperate attempt to stop the spread, the Elri came together. They forged, forged a weapon. weapon. They forged the raven. In the form of a raven okay. that could carry their shared might against their lost sister. But the creation of the weapon left the Elri exposed. A weakness that the betrayer could not ignore. She took this chance to strike them down and imprison their immortal souls in tombs of her making, deep below the earth. Satisfied with her success, the betrayer retreated into the heart of our vault, from where she would siphon the hatred from the world into herself. Classic villain move. Yet the incomplete Raven's weakened existence went unnoticed. Within its temple, it bides its time, lying in wait for champions strong enough to host its broken form. And through them, the raven should fulfill its purpose and end the betrayer's reign once and for all. I like how they crafted the story to, uh, you know, some of my favorite rogu roguelites are the ones that think of creative ways to kind of make it part of the story as to why you do numerous runs and you start over and you die and that kind of stuff. Um, all right. So if we kill 100 enemies with twin axes, we unlock the sharpened twin axes. Clear three camps without taking damage. All right. So these are things that during our run we can do to unlock new things. Okay. And these are the cards we've unlocked. And then I don't have enough money for traits. We really only unlocked one thing with trait money right just the similar all right here we go let's start a new run all right we got a choice of three all right i want to go with the axe so we're going to do one of the similar here let's go with this one okay so the similar whenever i drain a card i get mana and i got the axe starting weapon here we go and anybody that wasn't here yesterday feel free to ask questions um i'm not an expert in this game but i do have a couple hours in and uh I'll try to answer it and yes the apex connect uh watermark will be on the screen this is a beta they want to protect uh what's shown so they do that via a watermark but we do have permission to stream it Thanks to the devs for sending me uh, this early game key so we can play.
All right, so make your way to Svali. Okay, so this is the first boss, the Tomb hey, of Gales. Hurts! Uh, your luck is reduced by 50. I, w I, I wonder what luck does. Luck be a lady tonight. All right, so here's the open world aspect. Did you ever look over here? What's over here? I didn't know I had yellow pants. I thought that closed on me. I wonder what luck does is a question I always ask myself in every game of luck. I know, right? One challenge completed. Let's see how you fare when I lend you some of my power. Was this the tutorial place? Oh, this must be the tutorial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This is where we first came out of. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 this whole area. Wait, now does this mean at the start of every run, is there pottery for me to smash for gold? Wasn't there gold like all over the place? I like gold. M -m -m Mama always said that 72 months is the devil. The devil. Thank you, Quo, for the 72. We like... are going to have a very fancy lasagna for dinner. I hope you're ready. A fancy lasagna? Yes. What makes it fancy? Well, I'm going to use a bolognese sauce that I made. Yep. And then I'm also going to use a bechamel sauce. A bechamel? Yes. I don't know what that is, but okay. Ooh, it's going to be fancy. going to be fancy? Right. Yeah. I'm ready for the lasagna. Yeah. Like, not right this second. Oh, All right. okay. Well, it's not ready either, so it's okay. Okay, cool. Um... Thanks again, Quo. Yeah, so I don't think there's any gold here. Which which I'm kind of thankful for, because then I would feel compelled to, like, come here at the start of every mission and <laughs> get a couple gold pieces. Oh, no! And just as I say that, I found seven gold! And five more. I wonder if they're one-time drops. The first time you slash open that specific pottery. What time is dinner? You're all invited, every single one of you. I know, free money. Alright, let's go fly away. Okay, so. These camps have hatred in them. Is there a scar nearby that we can try to take out to alleviate the hatred in the area? This is our raven site. There's definitely some hatred there. Um, and I wonder, are there camps that you can take out that just don't have hatred? Like, this one has hatred, obviously. It's all red around it. This one's got red all around it. If I'm if I don't see a scar, smack me in the head so that I notice it. Talking to Bechamel just making me want to homemade mac and cheese again. Remember that whole debate we had about the uh, the crunchy topping on the top or not? Never thought I'd live in a household where there, uh, where we don't agree on the crunchy top. Thanks, Notorious. I hope you have a great day. All right. Well, I'm not finding any scars. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that's one of those big ogre guys. 
love the music. Yes, the crunchy top. Well, why don't we go to let's go nearby where we know there's a scar which is that gold uh main quest flying is really good to look at and watch the flying feels amazing it's really really fun and so is like the dropping out of the sky How hard this will be without any upgrades. I guess there's one way to find out. Oh, I missed. Woo! Spicy. the wrong guy kicking their butts i'm kicking their butts it's already came up beside me and started pantomiming axe swings What were you doing but to the left of me? Woo! What? I just took out the trash! I thought you were standing over there going like this. No! It's the corner of my eye. What do you want from me? Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. So we barely took damage. That was pretty good. So we got a fragment here, a fragment here. When we get uh the fragments go in the bottom left. When we get three of them, we can activate them for a a, a prize. So if you can do it without dying, you always want to clear the scars first. I think so, because when we're opening chests and you get that hatred, it gives 5% damage and health to all elites and the boss. And now we get this reward without any hatred. All right, I'm going to take the mana. Oh, they only gave me one chest. I wonder why we got two chests that one time. All right, we got mana. Now let's see if the camps nearby are clear of hatred. Concerning the crow flying this game, better let me fiddle with the Y axis. Uh, I think you can do that. I think you can invert the flying. Yeah, I, this game defaulted to the way that I like it. Yeah, invert vertical mouse input. Um, invert vertical input for the gamepad as well. Yes. Yeah, so you can. Um, this game defaulted to the flight being the right way for me. But when, when it's wrong, it feels so weird. Yeah. You prefer invert for flying? I don't know which one I prefer. <laughs> I don't. I think I prefer it with off. Yeah. This looks so good. I wonder what engine uses. I don't know. I don't know what engine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, another cup would be great. Hey! 
Whoa, dude. How many hits do you want to get on me? All right, so we defeated the minions of hatred. We got our third little rune thing. So we get a free reward, no hatred. Okay, we could get armor. 31 armor is not bad for one mana. Let's grab it. Another fragment over there. Typically you get two fragments. And then is there a treasure? There's usually a treasure in these camps. Back here. Is this mana? No. Okay, and you see I didn't get hatred for that. So what hatred does, it takes up one of these card slots and it automatically, when it's revealed, even if you don't choose it, just revealing it happens. It gives all elites and bosses 5% damage and health. Yeah. Uh, Omgami says they use Apex Engine, in-house engine from Avalanche Studios Group. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting us know. Um, let's just take three mana. Let's let's get full on mana because we know how mana starved we get in this game. Should I use the mana and put on that? I mean, it's only one. I guess so. Let's use this man here. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. That is really cool armor. I like how that looks. So now would it be possible to overbuild yourself for a boss? Well, I, I don't think it, it removes the hatred everywhere. I think just the surround... Like, I don't know how far... Like, I don't know how many camps they actually... Unlock the hatred on. So, I don't know how it's balanced. Oh, look, another camp. Let's go, let's go kill them. So we get his fragment and this fragment that gives us three again no hatred and let's see what weapon we get or what a thing we get okay another armor which we don't need the bronze ear hook guard health increased by 100 percent or armor by 15. um I guess we'll take the guard health but i'm not going to use that right away we may not use that in the build flying around the camps should be pretty obvious to see how far the cleanse reaches that's true let's do that okay so if we turn on our raven sight like if there's no red area around it it should be pretty clear, right? That was unfortunate. They're actually hitting me a lot.
How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Okay. They are needling down my health, aren't they? Is there another one? Didn't get the camp destroyed message. That one only had one rune? No, there's one over here. Okay. I don't think they had a treasure treasure, did they? Hey, partisan, what's going on? Um, yeah, partisan. Let's not, uh, let's not make jokes at, uh, people's expenses, okay? Pretty great. We are a very, uh, inclusive community, and, uh, we like to have fun. But not at the expense of anybody, so. Um, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. So where are we going? Let's go fly up as a raven. And I almost jumped right in there. I'll go down the hole. Is there any way to actively go for more health or is it just luck? You have to get armor that has health on it. There might be some upgrades uh, after a run. Um, that gives you more default health, but I haven't seen that myself. All right, let's grab this one here. That would have been cool if there were bad guys there. You let me murder your friend. What kind of friend are you? What kind of friend are you? Just a camp of two? No, there's another one here. You missed. My turn. There we go. I cannot carry any more fragments. Pour over coffee makes the kitchen smell amazing. It does. It does. You didn't know we guys got a pour over? Yeah, we did. Uh... Yeah, Azari found one that was on sale. We follow a TikTok that, that shows you really insane Amazon deals. So this $45 pour over coffee maker was $8. So he's like, all right, let's try it. And now I've been making all my coffee with pour over because it's way better than a Keurig. <laughs> Yours is a Chemex. I don't even know, like, what's the difference between different pour-over coffee makers? Because it just seems like, it seems like a beaker and a strainer. <laughs> um, yeah, not much difference. Um, this one is, this, see, this, this is why I didn't want to use that other armor. Because, of course, now we found armor. Um, that's even better. So maybe we go for the key and then we do. Yeah. Hey, Kingless. Yeah, let's get that. Let's do that. And I'm going to, let's just activate it. Now, this doesn't make us more powerful for the boss, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll help us upgrade our character. I still have to defeat camps without taking damage, too, for one of the achievements. Here's the treasure. Nice. 
uh civil dude says our sword and board and dual axe is the only weapon options in the game no there's a there, there's a whole bunch um if i if i die and go back to the 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 uh the main screen i can show you you can unlock like long sword and great axes and there's a couple others uh just uh sword and board is what you start with and twin axes is the easiest one to unlock Three mana. That'll be nice. There's no way to get your health back up to 200 without a card drop. You have to spend 50 gold at uh, the village and you can heal. Any other camps nearby? This is the gambler over here. We don't want to gamble. The gambler, he broke even. In his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. I wonder if there's a way that you're going to be able to unlock the ability to just turn into the raven from anywhere and not just go to the raven stoops. What do you think about that? Be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ooh, who's this wiggler? What do you sell here? I don't... So does anybody know what these do? I don't understand this 100%. Long ago, it is said that the power of the relics we keep uncovering could be enhanced tenfold through pop proper use proper use in this case being proper storage by a reliquary place whatever you wish inside and see that same power return only potentially of course i make no promises anybody know what that does like i was assuming that how much money do i have do i have any money i have 12 so i can't really do that but anybody know how that works exactly It's like you can stick a card and you might get back a stronger one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'll have to spend 50 gold on it at some point. And this is another guy that does the same thing. All right, we need a camp or something nearby. Well, I guess I can fly. Try it out and see. Yeah, I need 50 gold. And the thing is, I need 100 gold because I have 50 gold. Uh, I'm going to need 50 gold to heal before we take on any bosses and stuff. What is these guys doing? Guys, your camp is underwater. You know that, right? Just checking on you. You guys seem a little confused. Ooh, nice. I think I didn't take damage there, right? That should count toward the achievement, hopefully. Did I take damage there? I don't think so. Camp underwater makes outhouse breaks easier. <laughs> it's true. Like, ah, uh, this fire is underwater. Clearly underwater. There are beds underwater. Is there another? Yeah, there is. Okay, good. And this should give us one mana when we activate it, right? Yeah. Worn twin axes, shield charm, bracers of deep sound. Are we? We're not getting like we're not getting like the big upgrades I'm looking for here. Um. I 
don't know what to get. <laughs> Nothing's impressing me. I could always burn a card and uh, get mana. But right now we actually have a lot of mana, which is different than all of our other runs. You wonder if that's a bug? Oh, it probably is. It probably is. Yeah, this is a beta after all. Um, I have a feeling whatever this is would kick my butt. Are these the wizard things I fought? And this seems to have hatred, yeah? Yeah, there's hatred here. Okay. I don't know what the camps look like, but they were there was a camp of wizards I dropped into. And boy, did they kick my butt. Alright, so there's hatred all over here. All right, we can do this um, side quest for the town. And we'll get 100 gold if we complete it. Okay. So 100 gold will help us. We can heal with that and have some money left over. Maybe we can try the reliquary and see what that does. Okay, so they want us to go this way. Instadag? No, that's it's my raven site. So I use my raven site to see hatred and the, the closest raven spot. And then when I turn that off, it looks like it turns to day. Oh, did I already do the quest? How funny. I already had cleared that camp. 